Yes, obviously, commercial theatre has to exist, but there also has to be art for art's sake. やっぱりアートとか芸術っていうものがしっかり根付いていない日本では。In this situation, to say, are we charging the right amount for a ticket to a show? What I'm doing is of importance, even if it's to one person in the audience who's come to see it. Oh, だめだ。五時間ぐらい必要ですね。時間が。日本は結構コロナ禍でも公演を続けている結構まれな国というか、まあそれでもやっぱり公演中止がこうやって今、あの、ハドリーさんの公演も含めて、えー、あったりとか、仕事が減っているキャストやスタッフがたくさんいたりとか、感激する習慣がなくなってしまったお客さんがたくさんいたりとか、あの、公演を続けている日本でもそういう状況なんですけど、純粋にハドリーさんはこの1年、どういうふうに過ごしてたのかなというか、どういうふうなところが変わったりとか、どういうふうな生活リズムで過ごしてたのかなというのをちょっとお伺いしたいんですけど。Yeah, it's been,、um, it's been a hard year. I, I, I have to remind myself, I suppose, that、um, the most important thing in all of this is, is our health and、um, you know, the health of our loved ones. And, and I suppose Pose in that, to that extent, I've been very fortunate not to lose anybody and, and keep my own health. So that's the most important thing, I think. As far as the theatre back home is concerned and my year, it has certainly been a different year because of what's happened. You know, I, I would normally expect, I suppose, to, to be performing on stage somewhere、um, once, twice, three different productions a year or whatever it might be, whatever I was involved in. So I suppose I've had to recalibrate that in, over the last year.、Uh, I'm not someone who necessarily sits still, so、uh, I've been doing a group, sort of actually a great many things in the meantime. Quite a bit of teaching online, I suppose, which is, is something that an awful lot of people have done and sort of choosing to,、um, uh, choosing to sort of brush up one's skills, I suppose. So, That's, that's been keeping me going. I've been recording for various things. I've been in the studio also recording a new album with my collaborator, the pianist Will Butterworth.、Um, I've been writing as well. So I'm writing a show with the、um, jazz pianist and, and performer and writer, Joe Stilgo. So、um, we are due to be workshopping that in June at a theatre back home. And、um, so, yeah, I suppose I haven't. I haven't been idle, I haven't lain fallow, and it's been, it's been something of a, of a challenging year, I suppose, given that, given that you know, one is used to doing theatre work as, as the sort of lifeblood of, of what we do. But yeah, like I say, I'm not someone who just sort of sits around and does nothing. So that's what I've been doing. You saw this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> まあ、僕もじっとしてられないタイプなので、まあ、この YouTube もそうですけど何かもう僕も本を書いたりとか、えー、いろんなことをしてたけどでも特にあの前半去年のコロナ禍になった前半とかはそのじっとしてられないっていう気持ちとなんかちょっとこう虚しくなったり気力がぐって湧いてこなくてなんか書き始めたけど何を書けばいいのか止まってしまう段階とかがあったりとかしてすごく難しかったんですけどあの結構バスッと切り替えてハドリーさんはすぐ教えだとか執筆だっていう感じになれたんですか In,、uh, No, I would be the same, I think. This last year has... Really challenge us, I, th- I think, mentally and emotionally. And、um, in terms of that drive, sometimes that we have, and then, you know, it would be on, on full force and then would, would fall away, and we'd find it difficult to, to be creative. It's very difficult sometimes to be creative in, in the face of something that is much bigger than you and, and feels a great deal more significant, perhaps, than、um, you, 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 your own writing or, or, or the story that you want to tell. So, yeah, I've, I've faced similar challenges, I suppose, and have gone through peaks and troughs of being、um, industrious. And I suppose I've just tried to give myself a pass if, if I wake up and think, you know what, I don't really feel like it's a writing day today. That, that's been all right.、Um, 
it always helps, I suppose, when you have a when you have a deadline, and so um, uh, that has sharpened my practice. I suppose practice is the wrong word. It's certainly um, sharpened my pencil, shall we say, metaphorically, and um, I'm having to write <laughs> to a deadline now. But it has been a difficult year for that, and, and, and I think we've just got to be a bit easy with ourselves and say, you know, if we, if we haven't completed our magnum opus, our masterpiece, our um, Hamlet, our um, Hamilton, um, by the end of this year, that's okay, and maybe we will at some point soon. Like, I felt like I was a little bit of a mess. We need that. We need that. I think we need that solidarity and that that. That it's okay, it's okay. Yeah! Well, I don't want to talk about the same thing, but... 単純にこう、どういう感じなんだろうっていうのがこう気になってしまうっていうか、今、こうやって舞台が動いてる日本でさえ、すごくそうやって不安定になっている同業者たくさんいると思うし、まああの日本だとコロナ禍で演劇とかアートっていうものは不要不急っていうふうに最初に言われてこうレッテルをこう貼られて、あの、なんかこう、なかなかやるのが厳しくなったっていうのがあって、あの、俳優という職業を辞めた人もたくさんいるし、スタッフでも厳しいっていう声はたくさん聞くし、だ今、イギリスはもう基本的に閉鎖されてるっていう状況がこれだけ続いていると、ね、ハドリさんみたいにあの本を書こうとか、推しをやろうってすぐ動けるタイプの人と、そうじゃなくても、俳優だけ、私は俳優という仕事、人一本で、やるんだっていうタイプの人もいらっしゃると思うから仕事をもらって自分の色に染めていくそういうのが得意な人たちはどういうふうにいるんだろうっていうのが単純に疑問というかどういう感じなんですかっていうのをちょっと。いや、これはいいことです。私は私の不幸な立場を持っているので、私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私You know, I can really only speak for the UK to a certain extent, but there has been some amount of government support、um, for, for, for people、um, sort of in, in performing arts. Certainly, the theatres themselves have had、um, government support, and、um, I would say probably the majority of, of, of performers have, depending upon what, whatever thresholds you meet, so on and so forth. The difficulty, I suppose, is, is going to be for people who aren't necessarily, say, independently wealthy or who、um, uh, don't have savings in order to be able to ride this year through and are perhaps going to have to seek work elsewhere outside of the theatre. And if they, if they are performers, if they feel themselves to be performers, Then the fact that we're going to lose a great many of these people, I think, is, is a real sadness. And it's going to take a good while, I think, to,、um, to find an industry again that doesn't have COVID as、um, a sort of industry infection, as, as well as a, a bodily one. There's going to have to be a concerted effort, I think, to start the industry again when it can start safely. Um, as almost a different industry, we need to sort of draw a line in the sand and say, look, yes, obviously, commercial theatre has to exist, but there also has to be art for art's sake. It's really important that,、um, I don't know how things work in Japan, but in the UK, very frequently things are determined,、um, even. Uh, things that you might not imagine, but, but things are very frequently determined on their, on their financial or their economic value, which is, I think, a very narrow and、um, wrong headed way of looking at art and culture. There is something far beyond that that art and culture brings together. And so I suppose coming back to the point, Is as we come out of this, I think we as performers are going to have to remember that what we are doing is incredibly important and not feel like we are some sort of secondary,、um, secondarily important thing within society. People need to, to be told stories, people need art and culture to connect them, to find a sense of community, to cope with. Challenges such as a pandemic, we are incredibly important. 
And that's not to overstate it. I don't mean to become egotistical and say we are import more important than anybody else. But art and culture is at the center of what it is to be human. And so I think we have to cleave to that. We have to have that in our hearts as we move forward and think, when I can get back on stage, what I'm doing is of importance, even if it's to one person in the audience who's come to see it. ちょっともう何からコメントしていいかわからないんだけど劇場とか演劇に対して保証がある程度あったからって言い切れる言い切れるというか言えるのがすごいなと思って今そのハドリーさんがその商業的に寄りすぎているんじゃないのか社会にどういうあり方でって話をされてましたけどまさに今回のハドリーさんの講演が中止になってしまった時に。政府から発表されたのは、まあ、お願いでしかない保証がない多少ビビたるものは出るけど基本的にはあの休業してくれませんかというお願いで保証は基本的にないししかも社会生活の維持に必要なものを除き休んでくださいっていう。ということは社会生活の維持に必要な演劇必要かどうかっていうのを演劇側にこうやって委ねられているっていう状況というか。まあいろんな意見があるけども日本ではやっぱり僕が個人的に感じたのはやっぱりアートとか芸術っていうものがしっかり根付いていない日本では今から言うのは一概に悪いことではないんだけどあくまで演劇は娯楽でしかないんだなっていうことをなんかこう文化になりきれてないんだなっていうことを本当に自粛の最初に思ったかなっていうのはありますね。Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, there's a... I suppose there is a very strong tradition in the UK of theatre being、um, woven into the, the, the fabric of society. The one thing I would say is that within my lifetime, there have been successive governments, I think, that have. Um, decreased or even stopped the flow of government money into regional、uh, art centers. There was once a network, I suppose, in my,、uh, when I was a child or when I was a teenager, and certainly before I was born, there was a network of sort of regional art centers where there was this overarching idea that.、Um, Culture was for the benefit of everybody, whether you engaged with it or not. And that cultural endeavor, those cultural activities, could not be measured by,、um, uh, by finance, by, by what they, they made. There was, a greater,、um, there was a greater profit to be made than just monetary,、uh, which was for the benefit of all. And so, it, it, yeah, it saddens me that there is. That, that, that has decreased over the years in the UK, and the focus has been much more on theatre that makes money or culture that makes money.、Um, and it saddens me also to hear that over here, there doesn't seem to be even that sort of,、um, or at least from, from, from what we've been talking about, there's not that understanding that、um, culture has an.、Uh, Culture is important for people whether they engage with it or not. It benefits society whether you bear an interest in it or not, because it may well bear an interest to the person sat next to you、um, or, or stood next to you in the streets.、Um, and it's only with the sharing of ideas in a new way that we can tackle the new challenges and.、Um, Days that we, are, that we are confronted with. We have, to be able to, we have to be able to consolidate what we see and we have to be able to reflect on it as humans. And very frequently, that is refracted through art and culture and music.、Um, and if that is taken away from us、uh, or, or, or put at the top of an ivory tower where it's only within the reach of a few people, Then we're not going to be able to、um, deal with what is on our plates. You know, the fact that COVID has changed the world, we're going to be able to have to deal with it and cope with it and talk about it and, and eventually come to terms with it. 
not only in terms of fact, but also in terms of fiction. And that's so important. And so, you know, there's not much, I suppose, that I can do to convince the Japanese government to make culture and art much more important than it is, other than by coming here and saying, this is really, really important, which I, I suppose over and above the fact that I like coming here and performing, you know, it's it's a pleasure to come here and be in communication with other artists and say, what is it like for you here? So, yeah, anything that we can do to to elevate the position of art and culture and performers, I think we have to do, especially now. Uh, you know, the, the our union in the UK really, I think, lost a certain amount of its, its weight um, a few years ago, but it's regained it in the last few years, I think. And um, it only comes about through you know, action that we take ourselves. It's, I don't think it's good enough for us to sit by. And I mean, I believe this in life anyway, and in art and in creation, uh, but also, you know, in terms of that sort of direct action, it, it, it's no good waiting for someone to, to pull you out a chair or make you a chair, just make your own table um, and, and sit at it. So. <laughs> I know it's a it's a subject we could keep going on and on, mate. It, it, it's 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 so important. Ten hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to plug my phone in because I'm worried worried it's gonna run out of battery. Will you excuse me for one second? Maybe maybe we've been talking for five hours already and I just didn't notice and it's run out of battery. <笑>いや、もう本当にそんな風に思ってくださってるのは本当にありもう一日本にいる住んでるものとして感謝しかないんですけどやっぱイギリスって俳優とか演劇が社会としっかり根付いていてっていうそういう印象だけどそれでもや
there are people in the UK, I, and again, I'm just speaking for the UK, who I think probably have saved money during the pandemic because they haven't been out and they, they'll be ready to go and sit in sit in an audience and, and spend their money watching something. But there is going to be hardship for a great many people too, ongoing hardship. And I think we have to take a real look. And I think the West End and Broadway are have a responsibility in this um, in this situation to say, are we charging the right amount for a ticket to a show? And where is that money going? Um, and I include myself in that as an actor. Do do am I being paid firstly what I'm worth? Am I being paid too much? Is someone further up the tree from me pocketing a great deal? And if we're charging, I don't know, 120, 180, 250, you know, some of the Broadway prices now are eye-watering. If we are charging that much, do we really think that this is a sustainable model of theatre going forward? My suggestion is no. The one counter to that thing I would say is, is that theatre is like water. It finds its way through the cracks. And um, again, I can only speak for the UK, but there will always be a fringe scene or a off West End scene that um, caters for this sort of thing. Uh, caters for new and exciting plays. But there has to be, I still think, that connectivity between starting a show out somewhere and it being able to be seen by many more people. So that means that I think we have to look at the model um, and, and really question whether we're making it accessible for as many people as possible. Yes, this is now Yes. Hello. Hi, Daikon. Hi. <laughs> uh, may I ask a question? Okay. Of course. Yeah, please. Okay. Hi. 